Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome, my name is Monica, and today, oh boy, we're doing a video that I've been saying I was going to make for like literally months. <laughs> I don't know why this kept like going on like the back burner, well, you know, I do know why, it's because I wanted to compare basically the best and worst Stila glitter and glow dupes that I have found, and the worst, they're really bad, and I felt embarrassed wearing them, but like I'm in quarantine now, so I should be able to wear them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, today I'm going to be comparing, like I said, the best and worst Dila Glitter and Glow dupes I have found, which are these CoverGirl Exhibitionist Liquid Shadows, and then these ELF Liquid Shadows. First things first, let's talk about, you know, the actual products themselves. I was excited when I saw these CoverGirl Exhibitionist Liquid Shadows in a CVS nearby me, because they looked immediately like some Stila Glitter and Glow dupes like just looking at the packaging themselves and they had a couple of shades but the shades all looked kind of dark like looking at these shades right here I'm gonna include better swatches towards the middle of this video so don't worry about that but like overall the, sh the shades themselves they're like deep and they're kind of like the rich I don't want to say that in a bad way but they're not like the lighter um white lies collection of the stila glitter and glows I'll throw a picture right up here so you have an idea of what I'm talking about these are definitely deeper richer colors um, so that's really my only complaint with these. I really want to see more shades of this formula because I love I love the formula. These retail for anywhere between $12.99 and $15.99, depending on where you get them. I've seen them as low as $12.99 online, and then in my um, local CVS stores, they are right around $13, $14.99, which is still a little bit up there for a liquid shadow, but I'm comparing these to my Ride or Die Stila Glitter and Glows, which are $24.99. Yeah, so that's a lot. I do think the price is worth it for these cover girls just because these do last a long time. I've had these for many, many months now, and none of them have <laughs> just almost dropped it there. None of these have dried out yet, which to me is a great pro for these kind of liquid shadows. And I have four of them in total. So I will include the actual um, shade names once we do the swatches, but that's kind of the overall overview of the cover girls going to the elf one so these elf ones i purchased online from the ulta website very early 2020 i believe if not late 2019 and these were around 4.99 each so i was like whoa a dupe for that cheap how incredible would that be and these shades i, I tried to get very comparable shades in the elf as i did in the uh cover girl so you can see like there's a nice silver we got a nice silver a nice gold a nice gold and then the two shades that i did the side by side full day comparisons that i will show you are these two so they're kind of like the closest each gets to a rose gold which is what i was hoping to go for i do want to say though as we get to that wear test i did pick the least like the worst performing cover girl shade this is shade number one and i picked the best performing elf shade which is this rose gold shade right here like i said i picked up the elf ones from the ulta website they were 4.99 each and i got so i picked four shades um i think over the course of two orders because i accidentally ordered that silver shade again because it looked different online and i thought i was getting a new shade and i wasn't so i have four bottles but only three shades so that one is just a loss and a bad on my part. So I have these three shades, a gold, a silver, and a rose gold. Now I had really high hopes and expectations for these e.l.f. ones just because thinking back on it, e.l.f. has very hit or miss products, but when they have good products like their Mad for Matte palettes, they're good. They're really good. So I was, I had my high hopes for these and unfortunately they were not. They're terrible. They're horrible. I hated these so much, especially if you have like hooded eyes like I do. These performed horribly. So as I get into more details, let's go ahead and jump into swatches of each one of the shades that I own.
are just the swatches of each shade that I own from the CoverGirl and from the e.l.f. lines. The main point of this video, I did two days in a row, I did a wear test using the CoverGirl shade, which is shade number one, and then I did the e.l.f. rose gold shade. And I think it really helps you visualize exactly what I'm going to be talking about. So the CoverGirl ones, the formula is nice. It's thick without being too thick. It's pigmented and it lasts. It looks great. It might not look 100% fantastic zoomed in, but from like, you know, a reasonable distance, it looks fantastic. And I really couldn't tell too much of a difference between these and the Stila Glitter and Glows. That could not be said for the elves. The elf glitters were very thin, they were very runny, it took a lot of building up to get a decent shade on my lids, which is not what you really want. I could go one swipe and get a full application of the CoverGirls, whereas with the elf I find I had to like build it up to get the kind of shade that I was looking for, but once I did that, I had a couple of layers on my eyeball, on my lid, which doesn't work well if you have hooded eyes and you're wearing something all day. So yes. At the end of the day, even honestly, these didn't really look great when you first put them on, which is kind of, that was my first like warning sign. I was like, okay, they didn't look as fantastic as I was hoping they would when I first put them on and hopefully they just stay that way throughout the day. These get slowly worse and worse and worse and worse and worse throughout a full work day. I did wear these. I don't think I have the pictures anymore, but I actually wore these e.l.f. ones um, out back when I was, you know, pre-COVID. I was going to the office, so I wore these for a full work day. I looked terrible to the point where I was embarrassed to be wearing makeup because I had these on. Yeah. I even gave them the benefit of the doubt in the wear test you're about to see. I am home, I am quarantined, I am in air conditioning, working from home. I basically stay here and type on my computer all day for work. So I gave them the best benefit of the doubt. And I even like gave them <laughs> these two, honestly the gold and the silver, perform worse than this rose gold one. The rose gold one was the best performing one and it was still bad. This is bad when you zoom in and look at it and it's also bad when you're at a reasonable distance. So. Ugh, there were really no pros to the e.l.f. ones other than the packaging. I think the packaging is quite adorable. And I do like that they are mini because um, a big package like this, I don't know if you'll use the entire product before it dries out or goes bad. So I did like that they made them a little bit mini and I like the white packaging here. That's it. That's the only nice thing I can say about these e.l.f. ones. <laughs> Alright, so with that explanation out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the full day wear tests. <laughs> Don't ask. 
ask why That's the art of getting by That's the art of getting by No laugh ain't a game There's nothing to win and no way to cheat We all walk through flames All get burned from the heat Those are the two wear tests comparing the cover girl and the elf. I hope they really helped um, illustrate what I was talking about with these two formulas. Personally, I, I love these cover girls. I, I really want the line to uh, expand. I want to get these in more shades. I love these so much. And I'm really happy that a, uh, a drugstore brand has come out with such a really good just steal a dupe. Honestly, like it's oh, it's great so great to the point where i was kind of tempted to buy more steely glitter ink glows but i'm like oh i don't need to i've got these cover girls and i i hope i warn you about the elf ones because honestly i was so disappointed with these elf glitters like they don't have that many shades the formula is terrible it didn't work well on my eyes i was embarrassed to be seen in them like whew. so um moral of today's story avoid these elf glitters as much as you can do not touch them with a 10-foot pole but if you see these CoverGirl ones, jump at them, especially if you can find them on sale. They're fantastic, and they're the best affordable dupe for the Stila Glitter Inglows that I have found. 
and that's coming from someone who loves the Stila glitter and glows. I literally own like 10 of them. I love them. But they've got competition now. So thank you guys so much for watching and for being patient with this video. I can't believe it took me this long to finally come out with it. But just, you know, I tested these thoroughly. Months and months and months of testing to give you the final word. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.